Nicholas Cockshot of Bedford uh, in Bedfordshire, yes, that one, has sent us a review. He says, Dear John, after hearing reviews of the Shaman at Busby's and Ian McCulloch at Cambridge Corn Exchange on your programme and after noticing that they contain more inaccuracies in them than I have holes in my underpants, very strange, extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinary a comparison to make. Anyway, I decided to donate to you the following reviews of my own. Tuesday, the 5th of December, Kitchens of Distinction at the Powerhouse Islington, London. I arrived early so as to secure my usual seat and to sample the supports. The fat controllers were averaged as slightly interesting and the prudes ended their set with the closest they could get to a cover of How Soon Is Now without having to call it How Soon Is Now. I think I know the one. I quite like it, I must admit, but I do agree that it is very much like How Soon Is Now. They also broke a, a bass string, so Patrick from the Kitchens of Distinction than than one of his. When Patrick took the stage with his own band, they received a warm reception from all. The guitarist danced like a rabbit and indeed looked like one. Margaret's Injection was introduced as a song about murder and received the largest cheer of the evening. Obviously, no young conservatives in the house that night. Uh, by prize, it was obvious that Patrick was drunk. I think that, you better say, appeared to be drunk. <laughs> uh, but he seemed very happy about it and so did everyone else. After encores of her last day in bed and hammer, it felt like one too, they left the stage only to return a minute later to sell T-shirts. Needless to say, I bought one. Have we got some winners, by the way? Yeah. Okay, go on, we on. have um, D. Cox right. um, from Cherry Hinton in Cambridge and Clive Morrison from okay. Peterborough. Right, OK. They're the winners of the... Uh, uh, what was it? Visions of Change LPs. But to press on with the review here from Nicholas Cockshaw. Uh, where were we? Let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, Wednesday, the 6th of December, King of the Slums at the Powerhouse Islington. Fourteen ice bears began the evening and weren't too bad, although no one else seemed to think so. King of the Slums drummer and bassist had trouble getting in the building because the manager asked, didn't believe who they were. Second band of the night were the Hook and Pull gang, who were very loud and about as interesting as a semi decayed halibut. He's got a way with words, as uh, uh, Nicholas. He says uh, the bassist actually looked like one. I mean, a bassist or a halibut. It doesn't make it quite clear, but this put me in a bad mood for King of the Slum set, and it soon became apparent that uh, Charlie Keir wasn't too happy either. The two very drunk youths argued with a girl at the front of the stage about who was a norther and who wasn't, while the band became increasingly dissatisfied with the sound coming from their monitor speakers. Despite these problems, what they played was brilliant and proved to me that their dandelion LP will be one of the best of this year. Instead of an encore, Charlie came on and had a slagging match with the sound man about the sound problems and stormed off, slamming doors behind him. I left wondering how I'll be able to afford their new LP. Well, perhaps we'll have a copy of it to give away on this uh, programme. I think I've got two copies of it at home, but I haven't heard either of them yet. And uh, actually, we've got more reviews from Nicholas, which I'll read out in a moment. And I think I'll continue now with some more of uh, the reviews sent to us by Nicholas Cockshot from Bedford. And uh, let's see, where are we? This is the next one. Friday the 8th of December. Obviously gets around this, lad. Uh, Friday the 8th of December, telescopes and cranes at Subterranea in London. The cranes were brilliant. Definitely the best band I've seen all year. The telescopes would have had to be out of this world to beat them. A lot of people thought they were. Their set was preceded by Jesus and Mary Jane records being played over the PA, uh, underlining Stephen Laurie's Jim Reed-type stage act and the overall psycho candiness of the songs. They were good, but not that good. Long live the cranes. And he goes on to Tuesday the 12th of December, Galaxy 500 at Winkles in Bedford. And uh, actually it gets a bit, bit stroppy in the course of this one. But no matter, I haven't given out his address. So uh, uh, This was the first gig I've been to in my own dump of a hometown, he says. This is because most bands have probably heard that the collective IQ of Bedford is less than that of the average Anglia TV presenter. Winkles is normally inhabited by plebs and there was little change tonight. I, think so. I should stay indoors over Christmas and New Year, if I were you. Uh, whilst I was waiting for the set to begin, I met a bloke who said he used to be the Crane's manager. Onion Head, the support band, featured a singer who could have been the love child of Ian McCulloch and Julian Cope. Not easily, I think, but... Uh... And uh, an interesting collection of funny beards and not much else. By the time Galaxy 500 came on, the floor was almost an inch deep in condensation and the place was packed. They played an excellent set, including decomposing trees and my personal favourite pictures. They also gave a plug to one of Bedford's few clothes shops, which isn't called Concept Man or Chelsea Girl. One of the well-deserved encores was an excellent slowed-down cover of New Order's Ceremony. I always like it when bands do that, actually. I, mean, I always like slowed-down <laughs> versions of other things. Um, after which they went off having to turn on the music again themselves as the DJ had mysteriously vanished. Afterwards, vocalist Dean Wareham asked me for a light, but I don't smoke, so I didn't have one. Well, thank you very much, Nicholas, for those uh, reviews, and I hope you'll send us others. And that, indeed, other listeners to these programmes will send us reviews of events that they've been to so that I can read them out in roughly that sort of manner.